Okay, lesson 10, practice problems. Number one, which graphs could represent a proportional relationship? Now, uh, in today's lesson, you will notice that these, uh, finding a proportional relationship from a graph is super simple, it is so easy. So, um, if it starts at the origin, okay, and if it is linear, you know, if it's linear, meaning it's straight line, you know, straight, then it and it's got to be both. It can't be just like one or the other. It can't be one or the other. It's got to be both. If it starts at the origin, you know, like this one does, and it's linear. This one's also linear. Okay? Then then it is certainly, well, I can just circle A down here. Do that. Then it is. All right? B certainly starts at the origin, but it's not linear. All right? So not B. All right, C, uh, yep, starts at the origin, and it's linear. So C is good. D is linear, but not does not begin in the origin. So that's that. All right. All right, for number two, a lemonade recipe calls for a quarter cup, one-fourth cup of lemon juice for every cup of water. A, use the table to answer these questions. Uh, what does X represent? Well, uh, in the if, if I'm looking at the graph, you know, like right here, this kind of that has the constant proportionality right there. Um, what does X represent? Well, that that's got to be water, right? That's got to be water, cups of water, because it says in the description that it needs a cup of water, right? One cup of water, and there's a, and then this has to be. The Y has to be the lemon juice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. And I should also indicate that that's cups, by the way. Cups, not very good writing there. Cups, is uh, there a proportional relationship between x and y? Yeah, there certainly is. There is a proportional relationship, um, and it's very easy. You can just, I mean, you can do one fourth divided by one. You know, do one fourth divided by one, and you get one fourth. If you keep change flip, you can do one half divided by two. I'm going to flip this, so I get one half times one half, which is one fourth. Every time you're going to get one fourth. So the answer to the third part of this question is yes. All right, and then plot the pairs in in the table um, in a coordinate plane. So you're not given a coordinate plane, so I just kind of drew a, a hacky job there of, of a coordinate plane. And one thing that I did, uh, and you can do this too, you don't feel that you are binded to like the every mark has got to equal one. Um, what you might notice, hopefully you notice, is that uh, the output values are all fractions, right? They're all fractions. So, um, oh, except for one of them. Uh, one of them is a one. And all the x's, though, all those are, um, all those are whole numbers. But if I'm going to do this, uh, I can just okay, I can just make this part of the graph. Well, if that's I made this right here one, so this means this must be one half right there, okay? And this must be three fourths, and this must be one fourth, right there. So that's kind of how I did it. So one and one fourth, and this is not going to look perfect because I I just drew this by hand, but there's one and one fourth. And then two and one half is going to look right there. Uh, three and three fourths is going to be right about there. And four and one is going to be right about there. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, I don't think, here. So if I kind of being a little creative with my graph there, but yeah, that's that's definitely uh, linear, you yeah, know, it's linear because 
it's straight and it begins at the origin. It must be both of those things. It cannot be linear, but it can start anywhere else. Or it can start at the origin, but it can be all, you know, curvy and stuff. No, it's got to be linear and begin at zero, zero. Okay. Number three, select all pieces of information that would tell you X and Y have a proportional relationship. Let Y represent the distance in meters between a rock and a turtle's current position, and X represent the time in minutes the turtle has been moving. It's a lot to read right there, I know. I understand sometimes read these problems again, try to underline important information if these sometimes get confusing. But Y represents distance, okay? All right, and <clears throat> in meters, and uh, X represents minutes. That's basically like your, your X and your Y right there. And typically, you know, I would say on most graphs, anything time-related is always going to be your X axis. You know, I mean, it could be the other way around, but eh, nine times out of ten, it's going to be your X axis. All right, so you got y equals 3x. All right, now that's got a constant proportionality. Okay, and um, that is just by design, just by the way it looks, because it's in that y equals kx format, that is proportional. All right, after four minutes, the turtle has walked 12 feet away. 12 feet away, so if we just do 12 divided by four, you get three, which is what that is right there. So that's, that's a constant proportionality as well. So that's a proportional relationship. That is indeed proportional. C, the turtle walks for a bit. All right, <clears throat> walks for a bit. Oh, and by the way, I'm just, uh, I'm just making a hacky graph here, but like, you know, maybe for B it would be, um, Look something like this. I don't know. Kind of looks like that. And then for C, it says the turtle walks a bit. Okay, so it walks, walks, walks. Okay, and then it takes a rest. All right, then it takes break, and time doesn't stop. Uh, so time doesn't stop. So that stays horizontal until that turtle starts moving again. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. And you can tell right there, that is not linear, right? It gives the origin. Uh, it's got linear parts to it, but the whole thing is not linear. All right, so we can, for C, we can cross that one off. That one's definitely not proportional. And D, it, it basically gives us the definition of proportional relationship. The turtle walks away from the rock at a constant rate. So it walks away at a constant rate. It doesn't matter how it doesn't say how fast or how slow the the turtles walking go really fast. I guess that it's a really speedy turtle, but I'm I'm betting that if it's a turtle, it's not going too fast. In the water, they're not bad, but land not so much. All right, four decide whether each table uh, could represent a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what could be the, portion, the constant of proportionality? All right, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to do the basic x and y thing here and just divide. So you got constant of proportionality is going to be 3 over 2, right? 3 divided by 2. Um, this one comes out to 6 over 4, which reduces to... 3 over 2. Holy cow, we're, it's got to be it. But you know what? This is a good example here. This is a good example of why you need to check all of them. I, I've been kind of bad about just stopping and going, oh, we got it, right? But um, we should really be thorough and, and check and persistent and check all these things. But this becomes 7 over 5, which is not 3 over 2. All right, this becomes 10 over 8, which reduces to 5 over 4, which again is not 3 over 2. Okay? So this is, that is not proportional. All right, moving on to the next.
table, we've got height of lighthouse in feet and distance it can be seen in miles. All right, so I'm just going to make a, a COP. I'm going to make a COP there column just for this table. Extend it out a little bit. And so this, I'm going to do y divided by x, right? We're going to do y divided by x. 6 divided by 20. 6 divided by 20. Now instead of writing a decimal, I'm just going to reduce that. 6 over 20 reduces to 3 tenths. 3 tenths. Okay, now let's see how all the other ones come out. Let's do this one. We got 9 over 45. 9 over 45. <coughs> and um, that divides by th um, by 9. That divides by 9, and you get 1 fifth. Okay, so that's something different. That's not the same. All right, I can keep going, but I don't. once I find a difference, I really don't need to keep going. So that's 11 over 70, and so on. So this, I'm going to throw this one out. This one is not proportional. Okay, once you've got the same kind of proportionality, once you have the same kind of proportionality, then, you know, it's proportional. 